Hey guys, hope we're all well. Um, I'm very well, thank you for asking. Uh, welcome back to another video. Um, today we've, I've not, there's not really much structure to today. It's, it's going to be like a, a day in the life. Um, so I've got a couple of bits to do today. So it's Friday. Um, I've got a couple of clients this morning. I have then got a haircut this afternoon. I've then got a full body sugaring this afternoon. Um, which is apparently like waxing, but it's a little bit safer for your skin. Um, I've never had like a full body. I've had my eyebrows waxed before, like before going on holiday. Um, but obviously for the shoot next week, before I get my tan on, um, I need to be completely hairless. So I've not really got hair, like hairy chest or hairy back. Um, it's literally just sort of arms, armpits, and then my legs are probably the hairiest part of my uh, my body. So. We're going to take you along with that as well, which should be fun. Potentially, uh, you might see me do a little bit of squealing when I get the uh, the legs ripped. The, the legs? The 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 hair ripped off of my legs. There we go. We got there in the end. Um, so yeah, like I say, there's no real structure to today. We're just going to go with the flow. Um, I'm not going to do too much food wise stuff today because some of you are probably sick to death of seeing food on this channel so we'll give some of the food a little bit of a break for now um but yeah i will uh, see you in the next clip living the fucking dream this lad is all he does is sit on this sofa all day sleeps gets his food whenever he wants goes for walks a few times a day living the life of riley yeah, normally after that I'll just come and sit up here um, and write out my to-do list for the day, make a start on, on any work that I've got to do for the day uh, in this sort of 7 to 8 a.m. period um, so I can tick off a couple of bits before I've even gone into work. Um, and then, yeah, at 8 o'clock I'll, uh, I'll sit down and have my first meal um, and then just chill out for a little bit. I tell you what, this has got to be... One of the best breakfasts I've had in a very long time. I mean, look at it. Absolutely beautiful. And then what I'll do is I'll mix it all together. Um, and the amount of taste that you get from this, from the frozen fruit, the biscoff, the oats, the whey, the jam. It, the, oh my God. I, I can't even begin to describe the, the taste and the sensation you get from this. Very nice. Um, pro tip when you're making stuff like this with oats. I always opt for a two to one ratio. So I've got 70 grams of oats and 30 grams of whey. So that's 100 grams total. Therefore, I'll put 200 grams of water in um, and that always works, uh, works a treat. So remember that the next time you make some oats. Okay, so I was going to do a bit of a fancy edit of me leaving work, um, like putting my stuff in the boot, closing the door, as a transition from work to the car, but he was absolutely pissing it down, so I didn't bother. Um, so maybe we'll save that for the next clip. But yeah, we are here at Chesterfield, here to see my boy 80s Cal, um, who's going to sort me out with a fresh trim. Uh, to be fair, like I'm not really going to take much off the top, it's mainly just a, a fade on the sides. Um, so yeah, I'm going to let him go and work his magic. day you know them videos that just live fucking rent free in your head all day every day that is my video harvey price saying what a day i really need to stop saying that but yeah 
seriously though, what, what a day it's been. So it's currently 6 p.m. Uh, I've had a haircut, as you'll have seen in the previous videos, um, by my man 80s Cal. Again, if you are in the Mansfield or Chesterfield area, hit him up for a very good fade. He's very good at what he does. Um, I've then been to Belmois or Rihanna Hook um, to get my waxing done. As you can see, eyebrows are very, very red. Like, you don't want to see my arms and legs. I mean, you can see, can you see? A little bit of like patchiness, but yeah, the, the legs are pretty bad. Um, so hopefully that calms down in the next day or so. But yeah, it was very painful. Um, a lot was worse than I expected, especially the, the the left leg and the back of that left leg was was horrendous. So I'm kind of glad I didn't get footage of that because um, yeah, it would well it'd probably be funny for you guys to see, but it wasn't very f funny for me to to go through. So yeah, 6 p.m. I've had so it took about two hours to get the hair cut, about another two hours for the waxing so I'm currently at about a thousand calories um, and then I've got to go and train legs tonight so I've just got home now food I might have to have a quick shower because I feel sticky as hell um, and then it's back to the gym to train legs so I'm going to film the leg session as well and we're going to talk through that later on in the video um, but yeah that also means no England game for me tonight which is a bit annoying but oh well needs must and just got a couple more days and, and then we can tone training down a little bit. So, yeah, I'm uh, going to go and eat and catch you in a bit. Look how red that is, man. Jesus. Okay, let's talk leg day, shall we? So, I'll be honest, this, this is probably the worst session I've had for weeks. Um, mentally, my mind just wasn't in it. Like, energy this week has been very, very low. Um, combining that with a long day Friday, getting bits and bobs done. Um, the, the mindset really wasn't there for this session. It, it took a lot out of me to just get involved in this session mentally. Um, but we got it done. As always, I felt a lot better afterwards for doing it, which is always the case in them sort of sessions. So um, can't really argue with that. Just a couple more days and then and then we've got a couple of days off. So obviously, as you've seen from the first clip, uh, start off with a little bit of single leg leg extension work. Um, I'm currently doing two variations, one single leg and then one both legs. Um, we then move on to the 45 degree leg press. Again, I don't know if you can see, but I've got resistance bands attached to either side. Um, and I'm currently just doing one set of 20 on this as a rest pause. So the idea behind that is um, hit failure at 10 to 12 reps and then take pauses. So I may potentially do another three reps pause another three reps pause and you just keep taking pauses until you get to 20 reps so as you can imagine one set of that is bloody intense um we then move on to a bit of hamstring work so i never really used to get on with this machine to begin with but now i've got the setup just right it, it feels bang on and and again you might have to look very closely but um i'm actually using like a little buckle as a seat belt um and what that is doing is anchoring my uh my hips into the pad so as I come down they're not swinging out at all um, which is what you want with that movement again the, the more stability you can create with this movement the the more bang for buck you're going to get out of it um, we then move on to rack pulls once the shoot is out of the way I'm going to swap this off of my leg day because to be doing this at the end of a of a leg day is tough at the, at the weights I'm currently at at the minute so um, Again, one week I'll do a rack pull, so just coming to a dead stop, and then one week I will do a, a typical Romanian deadlift, um, and I just rotate them week to week. So the, the rack pull is in just to take a little bit of that loading off the spine at the bottom, just because I'm coming to a dead stop, um, and that is a little bit more strength-based. So rep ranges for that is 6 to 9 and 10 to 12. Um, we then move on to one set of walking lunges. So we do one set of 100, um, again, as a rest pause. So as you can see, I'll do probably the first 20 to 30 reps with a weight. Um, I'll then drop that weight and then just continue body weight till I hit 100. And again, if I need to take any pauses, I can do. I've also got my blood flow restriction straps on underneath my shorts, which makes that 100 times worse. Clearly, my coach really doesn't like me putting that in my program. 
Um, and then, yeah, finish on li a little bit of calves. So not really much needs to be said about this because it's calves and my calves are shit anyway. So, um, yeah, that pretty much uh, rounds up the, uh, the leg day. Hope you don't mind being up close and personal just to round the video off. Um, and before any of you form police out there start saying, oh, your knees aren't touching your chest on your leg press. Well, for me, my active hip flexion is atrocious and I mean atrocious so if I bring my knees any lower down than that my bum will come off the seat and my spine will start to arch so that's why I pretty much stop at 90 degrees because if I go any lower I'm just loading up my, my lower back which we don't want so hope that clears that um, but yeah if if any of you have any questions regarding the leg day what I'll do in, in the description is I'll put the, the the full rep ranges for, for everything that I did um, but if you've got any further questions regarding the leg day please do just drop them in the comments below and then I'll get back to you um, likewise if you want to see any more body part splits um, regarding training so if you want to see some upper body stuff chest back arms shoulders in terms of best exercises I say best best is subjective but some some really good exercises that you can be doing for those target muscles um again just let me know in the comments and, and i'll get that sorted for you but um yeah we'll uh, we'll round the video up here today guys hope you've enjoyed it if you have please drop me a like rating below um it's massively appreciated um and yeah if don't forget to subscribe as we've got plenty of content coming out over the next couple of weeks and i will see you in the next one peace